Another thing Dr. Bright is not allowed to do at the SCP Foundation. If a mind-controlling SCP is discovered, it is to be turned over to the proper authorities. It is not to be used to advance himself or others higher in the Foundation. Look, we've always wanted to be more persuasive people. Maybe it's about getting a new job, or a raise, or convincing your buddies to see the movie you really want to see at the theater, rather than the Steven Seagal movies they always insist on. But Dr. Bright using mind-controlling SCPs to help advance himself at the Foundation, or making Dr. Kondraki pee his pants so that he can take his projects while Dr. Kondraki is put on mandatory mental health leave, is simply not acceptable professional conduct. Isn't Dr. Bright anomalously powerful enough already? We really don't need him gaining the power to control the human mind. It just won't end well.